show yourself strong in my life. Oh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Brand Entertainment Talk. And this program is powered by Ash Media Agency, sponsored by Manjus the Burger Spot and Duga Mineral Water. Today, I feel a little bit holy. I actually put it that way because <laughs> we have somebody so amazing with us today. Amen. He's a man of God and his power comes through his voice and he's another son of God. So we are so happy today. You can see the excitement in my face that I'm so happy. And this is exclusive because today is very, very special. It's a very special day. So not to waste too much of your time, let me tell you who our wonderful guest is. He's a Liberian. He's a gospel singer, and he has a very powerful voice. So, ladies and gentlemen, you join me. Let's welcome Minister Paul Hardy to like bring the team and talk. Minister Paul Hardy, how are you? It's an honor. I'm good. I'm doing uh, good. It's, 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 it's so amazing to have you here today, and I feel so good. I feel so amazing. You see, I don't even know how to act it's a right now. It's a so yeah. So it's first of all, I want to ask um, all the people. You should go by different names, you know, when they coming out as a gospel artist, but I think you choose your actual name. Yeah. So what, what, why, why you decided to do that? You know, um, um, I, I, I don't know why people do that, but um, uh, for me, um, uh, my ministry is basically based on instruction. Okay. From God, it's not, it's not something that I want to do. It's not something that I just feel like doing. So um, I think it's more about God than me. Okay. The name, the fame, all of those, yeah, sometimes it matter, but kind of, and and wherever, as in, I even if I was to change the name or maybe uh, the worship boy or the the praise boy. Or yeah, you know, I mean, cool. it, it doesn't it doesn't signal out my originality. It doesn't it doesn't justify who I am. Exactly. And what justifies who I am is my lifestyle in Christ. So being Paul Harden is my name, Paul Harden. And, and, and everybody knows me as Paul Hyden. It's just so stressful that a lot of people start to get a metal name for me. And then we got the eyes. Someone said, Paul Hyden. He said, No, I don't know Paul Hyden. Or the washing boy. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, oh, I got to go Paul oh, Hyden. That's a lot of work for people. <laughs> exactly. So, so as, soon, as soon as Paul Hyden, you know exactly Paul who Paul Hyden is. And, and guess what? My name is a cool now. Everywhere around, everywhere in school, so the Paul is going to yeah, school. It's a blip so name as well. School, so it's easy to remember. I mean, yeah. it's Paul Hyden. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I, I, when you came through, I saw you with your guitar, and I mean, yeah. is that your favorite instrument? This is my oh. favorite. This is this is my favorite instrument. This, That's is, what you... this, this has some kind of feelings that I can I can describe. I can yeah. I can so explain. You, you <laughs> just love the guitar. I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh God, I need you to see my God. You did it yesterday. You will listen to me, and you will live forever. Lord Jesus, you been locating me. If now I'm low, I present my body to you as a lady sacrifice. So apart, apart from the guitar, do you play any other instrument? I play the piano, I play the drums. If I, I started playing the drums when I was coming Oh, up. okay. I played the drums for a very good while. Even if I was one of the drummers in my church. In your church. And then I started with the piano, I played the piano. It was what I used to use to write my songs. Okay. But then when I moved to the guitar, I mean, it, it has up. another feeling. Like, yeah. Hey, God, it gives you more inspiration. So, I mean, like you're only playing drum, but you are singing too in the choir? I was singing. In fact, I, I grew up singing. I grew up in a family where if I didn't take if I didn't sit for devotion, I'm not going to take recess to school. Oh. So the prerequisite to, <laughs> was serious. to taking recess to school is to be in devotion and you got to sing. Yeah. And you got to lead and you got to pray. Yeah. So all of that. So we, it's a family where we had to pray, we had to fast. And sometimes, the, actually, they tell me to fast. And I would get outside the house, I go get my late donut. Okay. I take it down, I drink, two on the road, I come home. But everybody fasting in the week. But I'm praying with real strength because yeah. I took something down. So, so that means <laughs> that mean you're from a religious family, like oh, really, highly religious, really religious family. family. And I know your mom and dad be and very parents. proud of oh, you yeah. right now to see that you're yeah. continuing that in yeah. a in a step forward, yeah. like because your songs are out there yeah. reaching out to people, inspiring. Yeah. 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 
I do not know a better name to call you, maker of universe, maker of universe. I do not know how to explain you unexplainable. Of recent, I think probably this year you made, you made three trips. I don't know if yeah. we yet last year, but you went to Africa, yeah. Tanzania, and Uganda. So. Yeah. How was it like the experience from, from those trips? It was amazing. It was it was really good. The, those trips were those trips were eye opening and mind blowing and they were they were mind uh, um, extended as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean the the, the, the 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 truth is, most times you don't know your your uh, territory. Well, yeah. you don't you don't you don't understand what you're capable of till you, you go get out outside. there and pull it. Yeah. You don't. You also don't know what God has placed on the inside of you to you know, extend it, to you know, try to expand, to you try to push yourself beyond. And these trips, out of these tours that I made, they, they taught me a kind of lesson. I mean, in Christ, it was amazing. I mean, South Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, yeah. it was welcoming and it, it gives me, it gave, it gave to me another understanding about my ministry and how ministry in general should be run. Yeah. Okay. One, I, one I, I, I would like to highlight is the one I went to Uganda and then you you, had, you ministered to like 4,000 plus inmates. You went to the prison. Yeah. I mean, some other some other gospel artists will go to a stadium, the foot of a stadium, you know, yeah. cashing on it. But yeah. you choose to go to a prison, you know, yeah. and, and minister to, to those people. How was that experience in particular? It was, it was, it was very heartbroken at the point. It was very sorrowful. But it was lovable as well because seeing people that couple of them has been in prison for 50 years, oh. some of them 25, some of them are going to be there lifetime, and they have been sentenced to lifetime, and they're just there. But they welcome Jesus. It was it was different. It was very different. I mean, those guys stood up and worship. Like some of them, they were not even Christians. Okay. But from from that from that experience we had. Some of them came up and they gave their lives to Christ. Some of them came up. I mean, it was it was something very exceptional. It was something very, 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 very mind blowing. And not just that, I, we didn't. I didn't get the clip from the female prison. <clears throat> there oh, was a female went prison. To, to the yeah. female prison as well. There was a, I did oh, the female wow. before the male. <laughs> okay. The female. They were maybe around two thousand. Okay. But the female was sorrowful. It's extremely oh. sorrowful to the point the female. You found out your own belief. The female. They got this. A lady got pregnant, she's in the prison, she gave birth, and her baby is with her in the prison. Oh, can come you imagine out. that? She can't even come out. She can't come out. Atten she cannot pay come out. attention to a child like no. the way she's Her supposed. baby is with her in the prison. Wow. And she's taking her baby in the prison. It was sorrowful. Wow. It was really, but then we ministered to these people, and trust me, it was good. It was good. So, 
Ladies and gentlemen, don't go nowhere, right? We, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back with Minister Paul Harding. So please, stay tuned. We'll be right back. We are back, baby. Yes, we are back with the Liberian Entertainment Talk. And this time, we're going to do it bigger, better than ever before. So check our interviews from your favorite celebrities and get to know what they are up to. And this program is going to be powered by Ash Media Agency. And proudly sponsored by Maju, the Burger Spot, and Duke Mineral Water, the safest drinking water in the city. You said what again, bro? I said it's proudly sponsored by Maju, the Burger Spot and Duke Mineral Water, the safest drinking water in the city. And we are your hosts because I'm Chance Jones and this is Bicos. Catch you later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Liberia Entertainment Talk and I'm your host Chance Jones. This program is sponsored by Mas Drew, the Burger Spot Shooter and Duke Mineral Water. It is also powered by Ash Media Agency and we have our special guest world again, like I said, Minister Hardy. So, Minister Paul. Yeah. Let's talk about your trending song, Strong God. I mean, where that inspiration came from for you to pull all the lyrics together because for me, when I listen to it, I feel something that you can listen to the song and then you know that indeed, there's a God that you need to depend on him for your every soul. So I mean like, how you pull all that together? So, so you know, uh, um, I, I, remember, I remember I was a terrible writer and I could just write a song and I, would, I wouldn't want to hear that song. Oh. And then I told, I was like, God, can can you give me something new? After I have done the Your Glory Greatest album, I've done the Pulling Me Through album, I was like, God, I want something off the radio. I want something that is not just a sound that we've been we've been singing all through. I want something that is that is beyond the sound that I have always released to another level. And then because uh, my prayer to God was, I want my music to be for the world and not Liberia. I want my sound to be for the world and not just Africa or Liberia. And then I was I was just in my music room, kind of playing my piano, and God said, tell my people that I'm strong. Like, tell, tell my people that I'm strong, okay? And then I and then I started to, I, I had to meditate on that word and that word. And as I was meditating, it kept it kept coming. Like something new about this, the strength of God and I mean, let the world know you are the most high, you are strong and mighty, you are undefeated. And on and on, it came to me. Now, this song was uh, recorded, uh, it was recorded, it was recorded 2020. And then 2021, I released Strong God, this song, 2021. We did a Strong God live concert. And then, and then God said, do not go off that thing. I need you to maintain that thing for the next year. So. So we are just about to ask you about strong up again. How you can, how yeah, that's it. How yeah, you that's it. Too. I should maintain that team. So this is the reason when I went out to these countries back and forth, I've been resounding the strength of God, even since 2021. Since 2020, 2021 did the event. 2021, 2022, I've been resounding in 2023. God said maintain it for this team, and God even told me to keep on till He tells me to change the team. So we might go 2024 strong or 2024. That's it. And then I'm like, okay, my God is my father. I was made in his image and like this. So it means I'm his son. So I said, strong God be king. Yeah, exactly. So I got that name from being the yeah. child to that kind of strong man. I need to identify with the man. So I said, strong God. I don't want no other savior but you. I don't want no other father but you. I want no one, just want to be with you To be seated at the right end of your throne My heart longs for you, only you, oh God is my desire to worship you alone So I, I, I need to let people know that um, you, have, you have an EP out there and uh, six amazing songs and I, I listen to them yeah, yeah. and I mean like the process of putting all your energy into into an EP to make it sound wonderful in that manner. I mean, it, it takes a lot of work. I would like to know some of the challenges that you face with in combining those, those, those songs. It takes a lot. And in fact, the EP that that, 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 that the album was was to be five songs. Oh, okay. It was to be five songs. I, I did the, the album. I was recording one of the songs on the album. I went to the studio to record a song. And then when I got to the studio to record a song, while the engineer was playing, 
there was something different came to me about that same the 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 the, the, the message in the song. So in, right in the studio we had to change the entire song. I want to I had to re sing a new thing that came to me. I oh, want to. So yeah. wait, wait, I'm, I'm not cutting you off, right? I want you. I mean, you did it, and then you re redo no, it. No, I didn't record it. I went to record it, oh, and when I entered the studio, there was a new idea that came oh, out. So the whole so song had went changed. With, like, it changed. I want you. <laughs> then we that, those were five songs. It was I want you. It was extraordinary. It was for you. It was yeah, spirit on the spirit track. move, yeah. and it was. Those are the songs I had on the album. And you're fine when I had the songs on the album. A few weeks to climax in my recording for the Polymetry concert. God gave me that Polymetry. And God said, use that as a theme of the concert. And this is what happened. Polymetry is a story, it's a testimony. A couple of times I was home. Uh, I was in my tidy and then this night my family and I were asleep and then we had this uh, there was no LEC car went, so we turned on the generator while I sleep. Around 3 in the morning, the machine caught fire. Oh. The machine caught fire, and the house was burning downstairs and we were upstairs sleeping. And nobody knows, but we're sleeping. And this guy next door, he was like, can I? And he want to use the bathroom, but he has a bathroom in his house. So he had to come out. Nobody knew why he came out, to just get some air. Oh, God. And then when he came out, he saw this real bright light on him and he was like, but why, why Porsche boy is going to light on this in his house at this time of the night? Let me just check on him. When the guy came, he was fire. And he shouted, started calling people. And he had to break the wall from the back for us to come out. Now, when I, when I started writing songs, I told God, I said, God, I've seen the Nigerians, I've seen the Americans, I've seen a lot of people. They write the songs, the song we sounds for two, three, four, five years, 10 years, and people are still listening. Yeah. Liberian, we write a song, it's just three months and it disappears. Just go. What's happening? I said, God, I want a sound. And God said, I'm gonna give you that sound. But when I give you that sound, you're not gonna tell people you were dry, now you're fat, you were poor, now you got money, you were blind, now you can see, you're gonna tell people that I'm God, that I'm the greatest God, that I'm love, that I'm the strongest. That, those, that, that was an agreement I and God had. So I'm not gonna say, when I, when I, after that incident with the pudding, with uh, the, the, the fire in the house, we move out of the house, fix the people's house and move out. Five months after, um, my wife had an accident hit six persons in two cars, and nobody died. But when you see the car, three people leave from the car, you say, that's a lie. And then I could have gone, uh, uh, um, singing, I was in the fire, my house was burning, and yeah. nobody died, and nobody died. Exactly. That's a song. Yeah. I didn't know. I had to sing, I had to, I had to turn the testimony around. I didn't have yeah. to exalt the devil. Yeah. I didn't have to let people know that the devil is doing this. Even, yeah, they know that he's always around. He's like a rolling lion. So uh, I had to let people know that the God has been in the business of taking me out of every situation. Everything that happens, God takes me out of everything that happens. He takes me out of everything that happens. He takes me out of everything that happens. You know, and that's how they put me to give You keep making a way out of no way. Breaking the mountains out of my way. You keep putting me through. So that was how they put me. So that song began a part of me. September 17, September 17, Paul Hattie, September 17. I don't want to be the one to say it, but you were the right person. September 17. I'm going to be happy on the 17 of September this 2023. September 17, Strong God 2023 and the Bliss Experience. We are coming in hot at the Winners Chapel Congo Town. It's an experience that nobody wants to miss. People are purchasing the tickets. Yeah. People are excited about this experience. We got Moses Bliss coming in from Nigeria. We got Asan Too Faithful. And I got a couple yeah, of other. You, uh, you the You're too faithful yeah. to fail me. You're who you are. <laughs> Yesterday, that guy. Yeah. Exactly. We got Jesse Pratt, the okay. confirmed destiny guy. We got Joseph Nimley. We got Sam Ellen T. Wilson. We got uh, Aaron S. Rogers. Those are the people that are going to be on that platform. And God is going to do something exceptional on Sunday, this Sunday, yeah. at the Winter Shop at 4 p.m. Tickets are out already. We got Vamoma uh, Era Supermarket. You can get tickets from there. We got Bolivar Junction, Garancha Bar. We got Dubu Junction. 
connect to the minimal we got here the be a rehab connect to the minimal we got here the uh, free port connect to the minimal we got techno house on the capital bypass we got a uh, balance estate uh, city of light and we got other places we got on social media platform we got different people presence up uh, in videos that doing tickets and giving tickets out so you can get tickets from this in the video so at which time will start 4 p.m. on the yeah. dock. No labyrinth and on this chapel. Right. And if you don't come soon, trust me, you're going to leave us out. It's an <laughs> overflow. We anticipated 5,000 persons um, at that evening. Yeah. That's what we anticipated. So we need to come in and be moved and feel the Holy Spirit yeah. and know that God is there and God yeah. is present. Yeah. Before I go and take a leave of you, I don't know. We, the people on the to team talk, we just like to get a little bit. Choose of the guitar. Yeah, this, this is my baby right here. And, um, you know, the choose of the guitar. And our preferred song would be Chicago. Just feel you know. strong and mighty. <laughs> strong and I'm excited to always sing this song. Okay. You are there more high. Cause it's strong and mighty. Hey, strong and mighty. Hey, strong and mighty. Hey, strong and mighty. Hey, strong and mighty. Whoa, God bless you. Whoa, Look forward whoa, to seeing whoa, you whoa, on whoa. Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, listen. <laughs> You guys, I'm I, I, putting my real photo. Let me forget all the things I'm doing. Now. Let me tell you, you gotta be there on the 17th of September. It will yeah. be on a Sunday, and yeah. my birthday. So you gotta be there, yeah. and you'll be inspired. I mean, you guys have seen it already. Yeah. What Minister Paul Hardy is capable of doing. Yeah. So Minister Hardy, I mean, like if I want to follow you, I don't know on social media. How do I get in contact? With you? you get me on Facebook, Paul Kenny Harden. Just one name, Paul Kenny Harden. Yeah, Paul Kenny Harden. All social media. Facebook, you get me on YouTube, same name, you get me on Instagram, same name, you get me on Audio Mark, same name. For Audio Mark, you get just Paul Harden. But even if you put it Kenny, you will still get me Paul Harden. Or just type any of my songs on Audio Mark, you're going to get me. So TikTok, same thing. All of the platforms, same thing. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited. I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so good. And this is our first gospel artists on, on, on our program and yeah. it's really amazing to have our own Liberian Paul Hardy who going places he's traveling the world he be yeah. doing things through the grace of God God is working yeah. through him yeah. so you guys already know where to find and Paul it was a pleasure it was yeah. a pleasure having you and yeah. I hope in the future we can do more of this Amen. and let more people know what God is doing through you. Amen. And it was really amazing. I just want to say thank you for coming it's on a pleasure. to our program. It's You're a so pleasure. Welcome. And please, please don't forget, go on Facebook and search in Minister Paul Kenny Harding. Search him, follow him. No minister there, just say Paul Minister, Paul Kenny Harding. Minister okay. Yeah. Paul Harding, follow him <laughs> on all social media platforms, like I said. And don't forget yeah. to follow Ash Media Agency. And Amen. please don't forget to follow Labor Entertainment Talk. Do come in more water. So yeah. it was nice having Minister Harding in there. And until then, you know, there is a further bird entertainment talk platform. You already know. And I'll see you soon. Catch you later. Much love. Yeah.